The issues related to electromagnetic pollution and the health effects have been debated for a long time, just as any environmental contaminant is debated. We had the same debate for tobacco, we had the same debate for asbestos, for DDT. You have people on one side who have a vested interest in, in selling this technology, and then you have people on the other side who are using the technology, and they don't know who to believe, whether they should believe the industry-funded research or whether they should believe independently-funded research. In most cases, they don't know the difference between the two. In some cases, the, the debate is legitimate. There's still uh, a lot we need to know about the mechanisms responsible, how people get sick, what happens internally to them. But the fact that they get sick when they're exposed is not under debate anymore. Uh, the levels to which we are currently exposed, both at the low frequency from uh, power lines and, and that sort of thing, as well as the higher frequencies, the microwave radiation, are definitely damaging to our health and um, there's really no debate about that as far as, no legitimate debate about that as far as I'm concerned.